so these look completely different than what I was expecting. Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are going to be unboxing my Digipack versions of Stray Kids' third studio album, Five Star. I have all eight member copies in front of me and whew, I don't even know where to begin. Maybe we should start with the elephant in the room, which is that these kind of look completely different than like what I thought they were going to be and I think they're gonna look different than everyone thought they would look like because the colors are just so dull and so like diluted and so just like muddy looking because of like how they printed this I think and the material they printed it on. So like we suspected in my setting up binder video for 5 star I mentioned that I thought the digipack covers were going to be the same photos that they posted on Twitter which was true and I was super super excited about that because I was really excited for these like super cool super dynamic super like personalized to each member covers and now that they're seeing them um I can't help but feel like a little bit disappointed because they just are not the look I would have hoped. <laughs> it almost looks as if these are like sun damaged, like these have been sitting out in the sun for like 84 years and like the color has been bleached from it, like that's what it looks like. And I can only suspect it's because of the material of the packaging that it's printed on. It looks like much like the normal album. They printed this with soy ink and then they used the same kind of probably like recycled material that they did with the Maxident case version. I'm pretty sure like this is exactly the same. It looks very similar. It feels the exact same. And while I think it worked for the case version of Maxident because this is kind of designed and meant to look like a case file, like it feels right. I was so, so excited for these because I'm in love with all these cover images. And I just can't help but feel like that excitement is a little bit like squished. And I totally understand that they probably printed the digipacks on this same like recycled material and used like the soy ink to try and be more eco-conscious, which I'm totally about. But if like the normal albums are anything to like go off of, you can make like eco-conscious albums still look beautiful and not have to like compromise the integrity of the design that you're printing on it. Like I just feel like this material does not do this type of detail and this type of photo justice because this is such like a high res, high saturated, highly detailed photo and it's just completely lost. Like all of the covers really. We'll get into it more as we do more hands-on with each of the members, but like all the covers are just so not what they could have been. I'm, I'm a little bit sad. Like I said, I understand it's probably to help with the environment, which we should always try and be like eco-conscious, but like you printed the normal album like just fine. I just don't understand why this has got to look like this. Like, I don't know. Like we couldn't have had like a white base screen printed first so then when you printed it with the eco soy ink it like showed up a lot better i don't know i definitely feel like there's like a solution that they could have done that would have elevated the covers rather than like bring them down because i feel like their choice has really brought down the look and the feel and the reception that i think these digi packs are gonna have which is a is a disappointment and it's a disappointment to the fans it's a disappointment to the consumers it's a disappointment as a customer so i don't know i'm excited that like these images were used i just wish that it was like produced differently so i had to say that i had to say my piece but now let's move on let's get into the more like fun unboxing upbeat energy that we deserve and that this album deserves but you know i just I'm sorry I had to comment on it. I I feel like I'm gonna have to do some like clickbaity photo editing to make these like look good for the thumbnail. Like 
superimposing the original images onto these just so that thumbnail doesn't look just so washed out and dull enough with that let's get started so as you can see in front of me i have all eight versions of the members i ordered from apple music and i was also able to get the pre-order benefit from apple music they were allowing you to have the pre-order benefit with any of the i think with any album whether it be the standard the limited or the digipacks so i went ahead and ordered through them and i honestly feel like people sleep on apple music just a little bit like i feel like they're not as hyped as some of the other stores may be but i've been ordering albums from apple music since i started collecting and since i started ordering albums and i am always super super impressed with them and also like their palms like i really think that they do a really good job and i don't know why they're like slept on kind of but i ordered uh i placed my order for the digipacks probably like two two and a half weeks after initial release and by the time i post this video I received the albums within a week's time of the album being out and I feel like that's pretty good for a Korean store to fulfill orders that quickly and especially to fulfill international orders that quickly so I will always recommend Apple Music. I think they're great in terms of customer service and their shipping is really good um, both in terms of speed and I found that they tend to be like the cheaper like one of the cheaper stores when it comes to international shipping directly to you so yeah i will always highly recommend apple music they ship this incredibly fast and i've got everything just as it should be so if you haven't ever ordered from apple music i would highly recommend ordering from the next time this is like hashtag not sponsored i just really enjoy <laughs> apple music i'm an apple music stan so okay before we go into each of the member versions let's go ahead and look through our pre-order benefits really quickly and like I said, because I have all eight versions of the DigiPacks, I got a full OT8 POB set as well. So we'll just go ahead and look at these. Yee! I'm so, so excited. All right, let me put these in age order really quickly. Here is the pre-order set. This is a very popular outfit for them in regards to pre-order benefits. I think there's like four or five different um, sets where they're in these same outfits. Like they must have just been taking a ton of selfies that day that they shot this particular scene in the music video because this is definitely like a very popular outfit <laughs> for pre-orders. Wow, this Hyunjin card is so pretty. I don't know. I really enjoy this set. Like I said, I usually enjoy Apple Music's um, pre-order benefit sets. So I am not disappointed this time around either. Yay! So cute. I love them. Now that that's out of the way, let's start with our first digipack. Let's start with our boy chenny so i'll bring this nice and close so hopefully we can see the details amongst the material that this was printed on all right oh what <laughs> that is not the uh that's not what i expected all right, so, oh, okay, so the CD is on this side, and then are the inclusions? Oh, yeah, then everything's, like, tucked in behind here. Okay, so let's pull out the CD plate, because all the CD plates are going to be different amongst each of the members. At least the CD plates are, like, in full, nice, saturated color. Like, the comparison? Ugh, I don't know. I think I'm going to be salty about this for a little bit like just thinking of like what this could have been i don't know let me know let me know what you think if you are like bothered by like this material being used and like the image being printed on this or if i'm just being a bit much about it but 
Oh, God. Okay, I already really hate, like, jewel cases, and this is sort of kind of like a glorified jewel case, but I always hate pulling out, like, the photo books and stuff from here. All right, so yeah, see, this is what the photo should normally look like. And like, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Like, ugh. okay, we're done talking about it. We're done being negative Nancy over that. But like, wow, that the difference in like color is crazy. Okay, so let's start off with this. This is just the Lyric Leaflet. And then this is the photo book. So each of the Digipack photo books are specific to the member of that Digipack. So here is Bang Chan's photo book. Front and the back. Track list. I was gonna like hold it up, but I can always, I guess, zoom in or whatever. <laughs> in editing. Ooh. I'm trying to remember, I'm pretty sure we got this look right in the photo books. I think these were, I don't remember which version, but we've definitely seen like this photo these um these style of photos somewhere before thanks to and that's it these kind of photo books are pretty short and sweet but still still looking very very nice i'm still very very obsessed over chani this era he just looks oh he still looks so good all right now let's see i think this is the little fold out poster oh my gosh that's so cute i wonder if he doodled that like or if someone else did cute mine is like a little bent on the corner right here but it's like a little doodle mini poster Cute. That's actually really cute. I feel like this is like such a different style from all the rest of the album. Very cool. I love the little like devil bang chan. That's definitely my favorite. All right. Now I think, yeah, all we have left is the photo card. So these digi packs are pretty short and sweet. We're only going to have to look through the photo book and then the photo card. So I don't think this is going to be too, too long of a video. Probably the longest thing is going to be my ranting at the very beginning of this. So, all right, so there's going to be two photo cards. One of them is going to be the pre-order and one of them is going to be just the normal album card. And um, I don't know which is either right now when, once I get them all pulled out from all the albums and we do our overview, I'll let you know which were the pre-order and which are just the normal. But yeah, I don't remember right now oh they have their names on the back okay okay oh okay sorry <laughs> so obviously we got changbin but i'm pretty sure the ones with the names are the normal album cards and then these are the pre-order because i think i remember saying in my setting up video that i was really excited that the photo like the album photo cards were going to match the album but then like the pre-order one was really plain anyway i'm talking a bit too much so obviously we got changbin he has been really coming for me this era like i pulled so many of his double-sided cards and now we're pulling him the very first in this unboxing all right so then who is our pre-order card <gasps> sungmin <gasps> oh my gosh cute fun oh my gosh okay wait did we really like appreciate the backs the backs are so pretty and just like the other um album the backs are like a matte and the front are a glossy. These backs, man, they have, these are some of my favorite backs. Like I think that they've ever done. It's just so good. All right, one down, seven to go. All right, next is Lino. Here's his. I won't spend too much on the cover so we can pull out the other photo book and see that 
more clearly, but here is his CD plate. All right, I'm gonna try and pull out only the photo book and then I'll grab the photo cards here in a second. But yeah, here is the photo book and essentially the cover. Man, the color really like does make such a difference. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I do like this blue. It's kind of a a fun color in the mix of like the black and the white from the normal albums. So pretty. Wow, that's such a cool shot. I think it would kind of be nice if they did different concepts for like the digi packs or like the jewel cases or whatever but I also understand that that's like a whole nother like wardrobe that the stylists have to pull and probably like a whole nother day of shooting but I don't know. I think if you're like gonna release a secondary version outside of like the main albums it'd be kind of nice to I don't know I guess make it as unique as it could be or like if they carried like these doodles throughout the photo book I don't know I really enjoy it but I just um you know constructive criticism never hurts okay so this is the member card so let's start with that first <gasps> ah ton yay oh here's his back I realized when I was editing my uh, last video we didn't pull a single Han photo card other than like his Barnes and Noble we didn't pull any of his album cards so when I eventually get to trading I'm gonna have a lot of Han to look for all right and then our pre-order card <gasps> yay <laughs> I don't even know what you would call it, but this is like from his iconic point in the t in the trailer in the teaser. I think um with Mew, um they have selfies for their pre order benefit. That's from this same look, and I'm so excited. So I'm really happy that we have like both an album PC and a like pop from this look because lives were changed after seeing that bang chan specifically me specifically my life was changed <laughs> after seeing that all right next we have chung bins do the cd plate first and then here is his cover Flip through this really quick. Changbin has equally had some really, really good looks this era. Like, they've been starting to um, promote on, like, the music shows and stuff. And I just, like, everyone's styling is really, really good this era. But I feel like, bit, like Changbin has had some really good looks this time. And I'm into it. He's been like slowly creeping up my bias list. Or um, not my bias. Well, I guess you could see bias list. But he's been slowly creeping up my bias wrecker list. My wreckers as they stand right now are Sungmin and Felix. But I feel like I like started to notice Chongbin like so much more during Maxident era. And then like all of like Chongbin this album like all of his lines are just like so good and so iconic and i feel like he gets so many like good killing points and like intros to the songs he's like creeping up on um, he's creeping up my list of members all right photo cards okay let's start with the pre-order one first <gasps> han yay so now Han is complete. <laughs> How funny that I didn't really pull anything of him in my normal album, but for Digipack, 
He's all done in the leather jacket. All right, and then member, what are they all member photo cards? Uh, album photo card, I should say. <gasps> Sungmin, yay, now Sungmin is complete as well. <gasps> wow, pretty, ooh, Sungmin's back is really, really pretty. This like landscape shot. Ooh, very nice. And I'm thankful to say that there are no indents on these. <laughs> All the other album PCs, you know, from like the normal albums have such bad imprints just because of like how they were shoved in the albums. And even though like this stuff is equally shoved in here, so far there's been no <laughs> casualties just yet but all right now let's do hyunjin here is hyunjin's cd plate a little sky view flower moment all right and then his photo book his is a little bit different from everyone else well i guess felix too well never mind i was gonna say because his is so close up but like half of them half of them do kind of like have close-up shots and then, like, others are more farther away. Yeah, we get to see Hyunjin nice and up close and personal and see all his cute little freckles and moles. He is so pretty, man. I just, like, I don't know how someone like this pretty is just like living amongst us like how how are you so pretty my guy I'm so pretty and so talented like i feel so blessed to, to be a, a fan of hyunjin every day i'm like wow thank you for bringing hyunjin into my life <laughs> Now, Hyunjin's photo cards. Oh, <gasps> Sungmin, we got our first dupe. I was gonna, I was gonna say it, but you know what? I held off on saying it because I wasn't gonna jinx myself, but I like to say, like, we are getting a pretty good pull variation and not, you know, not too many dupes, but we just got our first dupe, another of this album Sungmin. Who is our pop gonna be? <gasps> Felix! Oh my gosh! And his like, um, this is his conductor outfit, right? When he's like, I am the conductor. Yee! In his blonde hair and freckles. Wow, look at our Aussie line. They look so good. Oh my gosh. Speaking of Felix, let's move on to his. Pull out his CD plate. I really am in love with like the style of drawings that they did with these. It's just so cool. Ooh, my Felix cover got like super, super bent. And I like don't really think that's me. I think it's just the nature of this like packaging because it's like not really super secure. Let me just like look in really quick. Okay, I just want to make sure the photo cards weren't really, really dented. I think it's just the photo book. I can live with the photo book being a little bit damaged. It's okay. Ooh. Wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you know, we always gotta appreciate Felix's freckles, like when they present themselves. Gotta appreciate them. I'm so glad he feels like more okay about like his freckles and like stay helped him like come to love his freckles. I think that's like so cute. Everything is like 
falling out the side though <laughs> right here photo cards let's just do let's just flip them both over because i think the member one is like sitting up top <gasps> iron oh cute and oh wow this was an iron set yay okay okay let's appreciate it one by one here's our iron that's what the backs of his looks like Ooh. That's a cool little like starburst design. And then here is his pre-order one. Oh my gosh, him in this blue jacket is like such the vibe. Is like such a vibe. He looks so good in this color. Wow. Wow. So we have a Han, a Sungmin, and an Ion set all completed. We're doing really, really well. Moving on to Sungmin. Here's his with the little bridge landscape. Here is what his front cover looks like. I don't know why I keep turning over the back because the back is just the plain blue. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, Sungmin. I see you. Ooh, I don't know if you're if you're going to be able to tell. It looks like he has like little star stitching on his jacket. That's cool. It's like really subtle. Whoa. But really, really cool. Wow, look at him. Look at him. Love him. Alright, whose photo cards do we get in Sungmin's? Let's pull out. Oh! <gasps> Felix! Yay! I'm so excited, y'all. Our polls are so good. <gasps> wow. So here's Felix's. This is the back of his. Did I? Oh my gosh. I... Do Wait, do we? Oh my gosh, we completely, <laughs> I completely bypassed Hans. I think it, the my stack got out of order. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, honey. I like looked to the side and I was like, why do we still have like another album that's not iron? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I completely lost my train of thought there, but we have Felix. So now we have a Felix set complete. All right, who is the pub? There's Hyunjin. I don't know. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm being like so aggressive with the cards and just like flailing them around like that. But I'm really excited. I think the excitement is being poured more into the photo cards rather than like the album design itself because I'm I'm trying to not be salty about it and channel that energy into something else. But wow, look at Hyunjin. Would you look at him? <gasps> And this like leopard cheetah print blazer. So cool. All right, let's do Han next. I'm so sorry, Han. I like completely didn't even realize <laughs> that we skipped right past you to Felix and then Sungmin. <laughs> but here's Han. He has the two like twin dragons. Here is Han's full color cover <gasps> wow <laughs> give me shoulder give me body oh my gosh <laughs> wow Han in like a leather jacket always just like hits a little bit different, you know? He always looks so good. Wow. Let's look at that first photo again. Yes, give me that shoulder. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. All right, photo cards. <gasps> Changmin! Oh, we already got this Changmin. <laughs> I thought we had a... I thought this was his palm for a second, but we got this Changbin 
already. So we have another dupe of that. All right. Who did we actually get for a pre-order? <gasps> we got Felix again. That's okay. Another Felix. I feel like I can't complain too much because we've been doing so good with all of our other pulls. All right, last, but certainly not least, is Ian. All right, here is his cover. Ooh, his has a little doodled S-class on the front. Ooh, his pants are like shiny stars. They really went like all out, I feel like, with the star and like the galaxy and like the sparkle and like the shine theme with these. And I appreciate that. Wow. When are we gonna get more um Ion magazine photo shoot type of things? Because we got that one um a little while back, but like I need another one. I need to see more photo shoots of Ian killing it. My favorite OOTD king. Love it. All right, our last set of photo cards. So let's see who, oh my gosh, we haven't pulled a single Lino. We're only missing Lino in terms of like, we haven't pulled anything, but we need, so we need Lino's full set. We need Hyunjin. Bang Chan and Chung Bin for our cards. Let's see. Okay, pre order. <gasps> Sung Min! Oh, so we got a double full set of Sung Min. That's okay. We can always trade. Last photo card Lino. Um, okay, I just ran out of storage as I was pulling out the last photo card and I didn't even realize and then I started to gather all the pieces together so I could put them um, in order to see like all that we had. But my last photo card that I pulled was another Changbin. So now we have three of these Changbin and I was talking about how I feel like Hyunjin at least for this era, has been like dethroned on my like most pulled member and Changbin has taken that spot because I think I've now pulled Changbin the most like for this album. Like I barely have pulled Hyunjin at all, which he like Hyunjin was my member curse that I would always always pull, but now it seems like it's Changbin. So yeah, I'm really sorry <laughs> I didn't notice that as I was pulling out the last card. But you didn't miss much. We'd already seen this. If there was like some big grand reaction, I might have been <laughs> a little bit sad that we missed it. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly organize these to see everything more laid out. And then we will say our goodbyes. Okay, so here is the overview. The top row is the normal album PCs and the bottom row is the POV. And I'm honestly really, really happy with our pulls. We got a pretty good variety and uh, we just have a few to trade. We need to get all of Lino's set and Changbin's pre-order and then the pre-orders will be finished and then we just need Chan, Lino, and Hyunjin's normal album cards and Digipacks will be completed. So I'm really excited about that. I don't think it'll be too, too hard to trade. Hopefully. Oh, I guess we can here. I guess we can also, if we wanted to, we can lay out the Apple Music <laughs> pre-order benefits. Okay, so technically this, <laughs> this is our final spread layout with normal album cards, the album pre-order cards, and then the Apple Music Store pre-orders. So with that, we are all done for today. Nice, simple, quick, and easy, hopefully. And despite me not being like the biggest fan of the package design, I am a really, really big fan of the photo cards. So I will let it slide. And I'm honestly really impressed with my pulls. We had really good pulls last time from the Maxident case version. Like I feel like I was in the same position as I am right now where I pretty much got like a good member pulling and there was only a couple dupes here and there. So again, 
shouts out Apple Music. You had good shuffling. You had good shipping time. You had good pops. That's a three rounder right there. <laughs> but anyway, I really, really thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.